the collusion delusion continues. Radical former CIA chief John Brennan is taking a very odd stance and claiming that the Mueller report proves that not only did President Trump obstruct justice, but he also colluded with Russia according. Keep in mind that the Mueller report deliberately stated that the Trump campaign in no way colluded with Russia. Claim your free Trump 2020 hat, just cover shipping on Saturday. President Trump took to Twitter by posting a video that highlighted his big win concerning the Mueller investigation. slash Yao Kluxped, Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, April 20, 2019. Brennan later responded to the tweet from the president by saying, A more accurate summation, much collusion with Russia yet insufficient evidence to establish criminal conspiracy, extensive evidence of your efforts to obstruct justice with Congress determining ultimate, accountability, many criminal investigations on related activities ongoing. A more accurate summation, much collusion with Russia yet insufficient evidence to establish criminal conspiracy, extensive evidence of your efforts to obstruct justice, with Congress determining ultimate accountability, many criminal investigations on related activities ongoing. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash six VN eight hosb. John O'Brennan, at John Brennan April twentieth, twenty nineteen seems like someone is a little upset at how the Mueller report turned out. Poll Should Crotillery be tossed in jail? Check out what the Gateway Pundit reported, Mueller's four hundred forty eight page, lightly redacted report was released Thursday morning. Mueller concluded that Donald Trump did not conspire with the Kremlin during the 2016 presidential election, however, he punted the obstruction of justice issue to Attorney General Bill Barr and Dagrod Rosenstein. Barr and Rosenstein concluded that Trump did not obstruct justice after reviewing Mueller's 10 episodes of potential obstruction. The Democrat media complex immediately went into overdrive and focused on the absurd obstruction allegations outlined in Mueller's report. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, DNY, floated impeachment on Thursday during a presser. Nadler told reporters that impeaching President Trump is one possibility, but that it is too soon to tell as he wants to see the unredacted Mueller report and other evidence. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi scheduled a Monday conference call with top House Democrats to discuss the Mueller report and next steps to be taken. In the other chamber, Senator Elizabeth Warren, DMA, called for the House to initiate impeachment proceedings against President Trump. The facts are clear. President Trump did not collude with the Russians and there was not enough evidence to even claim that he obstructed justice. The fact that people like John Brennan, Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren and Nancy Pelosi are even hinting at impeachment just shows how twisted, power-hungry and corrupt these Democrats really are, Poll, should Pelosi be removed from office. Democrats are trying to claim a victory over the release of the Mueller report but the facts clearly say otherwise. The American people clearly can see that the report did nothing but vindicate President Trump. That is why President Trump's campaign donations are increasing exponentially. In the 24 hours after the Mueller report's release, the Trump campaign saw an increase in donations of 250 percent which totaled $1 million. Thanks Robert Mueller. The release of the full Mueller report directly led to the campaign raising more than $1 million. Relative to our recent daily average, the Mueller News drove a 250 percent increase in fundraising from grassroots donors, Trump campaign COO Michael Glasner said. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. You might like Let's Block Ads. Why?